2022 was a fantastic year for video games. In fact, we had so much fun that we found it nearly impossible to pick our top 10 games of 2022. But we did it. So here's our list from number 10 all the way down to number one game of the year. Here we go. Hard Space Shipbreaker is a dystopian sci-fi game with endless charm. You play as a zero-G scrapper, tearing apart spaceships in puzzle-like fashion. Surrounding that is top-notch world building with country twang charm and storytelling that gets your blood boiling. What could have easily been a soulless sim is actually a compelling tale of unionization, workplace politics, and neo-capitalism. Tinykin is a love letter to platformers. It combines the real-time strategy mechanics of Pikmin with the fun platforming of Mario. We're at the stage where anyone can make the next Pikmin-style game, not just waiting for Nintendo to get around to doing it. The music is pitch perfect with its ability to change as you explore each level. I could literally spend hours sitting inside the bug church or inside the guitar. Tinykin deserves number nine. Signalis is an isometric survival horror game set in an absolutely filthy, nightmarish dystopia. You play Elster, an android who wakes up aboard a crashed spaceship and must venture out beyond the ship to search for your lost pilot. The story that follows is a dense, multi-textured narrative that weaves together broad strokes of contemporary science fiction with the works of H.P. Lovecraft and Robert W. Chambers. Make sure you play it all the way to the end. Don't think, flow. That's the easiest way to describe how Neon White's frenetic yet addictingly smooth gameplay loop washes over you as you blast through enemies, trading cards for quick actions on your way to the fastest scores on the leaderboard. The story might not be for everyone and the characters may very well become grating, but if you allow yourself to sink into the sumptuous electronic beats and marvel at the hyper-stylized worlds as it glides by you, you might just find yourself sucked into the loop again and again, chasing the high of getting one second closer to perfection. The case of the Golden Idol dares to answer the question no one asked. What if somebody revolutionized the point-and-click genre? In this game, you solve a Mad Lib-type mystery by clicking on objects in a series of scenes. That may sound simple, but each case is more riveting than the last, and every solution is a thrill. Wrap that all in a beautiful retro look and a wild story, and you have one of the greatest mystery puzzle games ever made. The world and its Denzians are here for your cult's benefits and quite often their own destruction. Cult of the Lamb allows you to manage everything about your own satanic or heavenly group of dedicated followers, from giving daily sermons to farming for elements and even sacrificing one or two or 12 of your dedicated followers, all on top of an addicting and straightforward gameplay loop that has you begging for more with each and every day. The combat isn't super deep, but it's satisfying and the overall pacing and progression are what make the game feel so great to play. Also, Bowls of Poop, it's a little wild, and that's kind of why we love it. Citizen Sleeper is the sophomore release from indie developer Jump Over the Age. If you played their first title, In Other Waters, you'll definitely enjoy Citizen Sleeper. But if not, there's still something here for you to enjoy. Citizen Sleeper has a sprawling, richly interwoven science fiction narrative wrapped up in deceptively simple tabletop RPG dice roll mechanics. And each story, even those not about flesh and blood characters, are deeply human. The characters of Citizen Sleeper could all very well be real people, and they will stick with you long after the credits roll. Finally, the wait is over. One of the greatest and most ambitious games of all time has come to Steam. This game deserves so much recognition for its impact on the gaming world, and truly, this is the year to recognize it as such. The ultimate world creator in Dwarf Simulator is now in more hands than ever before. Will you construct the greatest fort that has ever been built? Or build a mighty army and conquer the goblin hordes? Or flood your halls with deadly miasma? Who knows what lurks in the deepest places of the world? Strike the Earth. Let's be honest, you knew Elden Ring would be on this list. But for all the praises that have been sung about this game, we found that the depth of its world and the complexity of its combat only scratch the surface of why it's so insanely addicting. Scenes of brilliant visual storytelling, moments of sheer, utter panic, and an abundance of hauntingly beautiful locales and experiences can be found. And all of it is wrapped up in what happens to be one of From Software's most approachable and accessible titles to date, 
Elden Ring is what happens when a AAA studio is allowed to iterate on an idea for years until they reach near perfection. Pentiment is an absolutely buck wild medieval detective simulator from the folks over at Obsidian. You play Andreas, an artist who's working on their masterpiece, who becomes embroiled in a murder mystery set against the Bavarian countryside in 1518. The game's story is great, yes, but its real allure is in its artistic presentation, where everything looks like a book from that era come to life. And it easily has the most discourse about the Protestant Reformation of any game released in 2022. There you have it, Subpixel's favorite games of 2022. Make sure you play all of them, we promise you won't be disappointed.